Hey y'all, welcome to the start of a new video. I'm so excited that y'all decided to click on this video because I am back to doing press on reviews. So stay tuned for my thoughts on these press ons that I purchased from Amazon. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. All right, y'all, so let's get right into it. Um, these nails came from Amazon. I'm going to show y'all what they look like on the screen. They are very affordable. I ended up getting them for $6.99. They are by a brand that I cannot pronounce. Um, it looks like it's an acronym. It's R-I-I-C-F-D-D. -D. Not even gonna try to attempt to um, pronounce that. These are a 24 piece flower press on nail. They are in the shape square and they are considered short. So online, the nails look shorter than what they ended up being on my hands. I'm going to show y'all what it looks like on the screen and then also show y'all on my phone. So these are the nails and they have a 3.4 out of five rating on Amazon. So a lot of times I'll still go ahead and purchase items, even if the rating may be low because everybody has their opinions on different things. And it also is based upon how you apply your nails. It's all about application. So I'm gonna show y'all how the nails look on me. So you have this one design right here that I have on my pinky finger. Then you have another design right here. Then you have the floral nail. Then I have another floral nail. And then of course, the same nails that I have on this finger. So these are the nails. I really like them. Um, although they are in a shape of a square, um, they aren't too bulky looking. That's my thing. I really don't like bulky looking nails. Um, I really feel like these nails are giving kind of like 90s slash 2000 aesthetic because it gives somewhat of an airbrush look. I absolutely love these nails. So that's how they look together. And I say that the picture online pretty much does look like the nails that I have, but the only thing is my nails don't look as short as the uh, nails that are on the Amazon. So as far as the durability of the nails, um, I wash dishes a lot. I lift different things. Um, I'm always having my hands somewhere and they are pretty stable. Um, I like the fact that when I tap them, they sound like the normal nails that you would get at the nail shop that are acrylic, but I did put a nail hardener over the top of them and I'll show y'all that. And this nail hardener is truly a game changer. I really love the feel that it gives because it gives like nail shop feels, acrylic nail vibes. So they're sturdy, they're not flimsy. Um, I do a lot of typing, do a lot of moving around with my hands, do a lot of movement with my hands. And I like the fact that they don't have the flimsy um, nail feel to them. Also, as far as the design goes, when I first got these, I thought that maybe it could be possible that it had like that ashy matte look to them that some press-ons have where um, they look like the print is not going to last on the nails, like the print may peel off. However, these are um, really, really, really convincing press-ons. It looks like a true design. Like I actually went to the nail shop and got my nails done, so I like that about them. The downside of these nails is I don't like the fact that it only had 24 nails. I really like being able to get the box that has 48 nails, just in case a nail, um, I might end up losing a nail, or if I want to do this set again on my um, hands, I'll be able to use the other 24 nails. So this is only a 24 piece set versus a 48 piece set. 
I honestly prefer to get the 48 piece set over the 24. So that is a downside of these nails. So overall, I would say that I would give these nails a 4.5 out of five as of right now. So I say that because I'm gonna show y'all the things that I ended up applying my nails with. All the items that I applied my nails with, the exception of the fingernail fillers that I have, came from Amazon. So, first things first, it's all about application. I ended up getting this set right here. This is going to be a nail kit, and I'll put that up on the screen too. So, I feel like it's a game changer because it has my fingers pretty much looking like I got my nails done versus it looking like I put press-ons on. So I give y'all a look again, cause I don't necessarily like for people to be able to really tell that I have on press-on nails. So if you want to have like a more seamless look for your press-ons and you want your press-ons to have more longevity, definitely try to invest in a kit to keep your natural nails up and let me know if that helps. Next thing that I ended up getting from Amazon is going to be this glue. So I used to rant and rave about the Kiss glue that you could polish on your nails, but I found the Super Strong Nail Bond from Amazon. And I think that this is now my go-to girl for nail glue. It's a very strong hold. Um, it kind of starts drying immediately. So when you apply your nails, make sure that it's in the spot that you actually want your nails to be in because as soon as you put it down, it's gonna start sticking and sealing. And I'll also show y'all this on the screen to show y'all the price point and all the things. I think that it may have been around $10 for the glue. That's kind of a little steep, but it's worth it. So the next item that I used um, to have a seamless press on application is going to be cuticle oil. You pretty much can get cuticle oil from anywhere, but I got this cuticle oil from Amazon. And the thing that I like about this cuticle oil is it can be taken on the go. It's not in like the normal nail polish um, container. It's kind of like a tube of lip gloss almost. And you'll Click it like this and then apply it to your cuticles. And I think that this was about $4 and it smells good too. But if you don't get anything else, make sure that you get some cuticle oil. Cuticle oil is going to definitely change the game for your press on nails. But overall, I really like these nails. Um, I definitely recommend them. I'll give y'all another close-up of them together. And if you end up buying these, let me know. I'll be back with another press on review. Until next time, y'all stay safe, y'all stay prayed up, y'all be blessed, and I'll see y'all in the next video.